Welcome to these Nuts Garage and today we're going to be adding to our fleet of Ford vehicles. Alright, like I said in the intro, what we're going to be doing today is adding to the Ford fleet with this uh, 2018 Ford Edge Sport. Now, the Sport is a little bit higher package than some of the other, I guess, uh, edges that were out there at the time. I guess it's just a sportier package because this particular vehicle has the 2.7 liter uh, EcoBoost V6 twin turbo in it. It's also an all-wheel drive vehicle, which makes it good for handling and uh, main reason we kind of got it so in the winter time if there's any snow or ice they'll handle a, maybe a little bit better uh, more so than just a two-wheel drive vehicle now in a previous video i had made a uh, comment that we were going to be trying to buy a vehicle that was coming to the channel soon that some of you would love and some of you would hate well this ain't the vehicle but some of you may love it some of you may hate it but the vehicle we were trying to get was a brand new bronco sport uh, we found a bunch of them, but by the time we went to call on them, you know, you find them on the internet, by the time you call them, they were sold. We did find some at some dealerships that were used, and they were trying to charge seven to $8,000 above the original sticker price of the vehicle. Uh, and I'm not playing that game. You, for dealerships, you can keep your money. I'm not worried about your light bill. I'm worried about mine, and I'm not paying $8,000 more for a vehicle because you want to ask that price. So you can keep your car. So what we did was bought this one, and what we're gonna do later is I will, maybe maybe in a few months or a, a year, but the plan is, is to put in an order for a new Bronco that's coming out, maybe in the Badlands package with the Sasquatch package on it, the Cactus Gray, maybe a two-door or a four-door, we haven't really decided on that yet. But that's probably what the next vehicle, or as far as a new vehicle we get, will be a new Bronco. Now I'll call that the original size Bronco because it's not the full size Bronco and it's not the Mini Bronco, which is the Bronco Sports the Mini. The new Bronco that's coming out is more size with the original Bronco that was out between, what, 67 to 77, whatever those years were. And then what I call a full size Bronco come out in 78 and ran through 96 the real big body style that was based upon the pickup truck size. So we're gonna be doing some uh, walk around videos of this vehicle. We're gonna show you the inside of it. But before I can do any of that, I have to go and put some tires on it. Now we bought this car, it had 31,000 miles and the tire on it were, nah, that could be replaced in my opinion. Well, we're here at this new location and it's under construction and of course first thing one of the first things we've done is put a nail through one of the tires and it's too close to the sidewall to replace so I'm just going to replace it all the tires on the vehicle and then go have it aligned now that way it'll be ready to go I don't have to worry about tires anymore so we're going to be doing that at first part of this video and then when this video is over we're going to go clean it up uh, vacuum out the inside and then we're going to be I'll be explaining to you about some things that we'll be doing in the future uh, with this vehicle and some future modifications. So uh, let's load up the tires in old field and then we're gonna take, oh, I haven't told you. So the name of this vehicle is Lucille. Lucille Balls. If you know Lucy, I love Lucy. This is what the car's named after. So uh, we're gonna load up uh, field with the tires and we're gonna take Lucy to the Walmart and have them swap out the tires and put new ones on it and then we're gonna get to the rest of this video. All right, so before we load these tires up in old field here, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna tell you what kind of tires these are. And these are a Pirelli Scorpion Verde's 265-40-21s. Now, this is basically the tires that are on the car right now. And I believe this is the tires that come from uh, on this vehicle from the factory. So we're gonna load these up and then we'll get off to Walmart. All right, gang, it's been literally about three weeks since I, maybe even four, since I made this last clip of this video. I've uh, been kind of busy, uh, went on vacation a little bit, just been all around trying to get some other videos made, uh, get some other stuff done off camera uh, on a field over there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kind of start trying to wash this car 
here in this apartment. Uh, basically using jugs of water to rinse it off in a bucket there. I'm gonna wash the car down real quick uh, for you. It'll be literally probably like 10 seconds. And uh, get it washed down and then uh, rinsed off. And then I'm gonna dry it off and I'm gonna bring it inside and get the interior all cleaned up. And then what I'll do is I'll take you for a tour around the outside of the car and the inside of the car. Kind of give you a quick uh, rundown of all the features that are on it. And then, uh, you know, basically that's it. So let's get to washing this car. Alrighty, we're done washing the exterior of the car. So now let's just take you a quick walk around the exterior. Now this is a 2018 Ford Edge Sport. Now, Sport, I guess, is a little bit higher package than some of the other packages that come on these edges. Maybe the Titanium and the ST have a little bit more uh, features on them, but as far as I can tell, this car is fully loaded. Uh, so one thing I do like about the front of it is I like these little daytime running lamps. One thing that needs to be changed is that Ford logo. You can see that it's blue. Or it should have been probably black. That would have looked better if that was the oval was uh, black. Now the rims that are on it are 21 inch wheels. That's a 265 40 21. I kind of like the rims that are on it. It's kind of stood out. And this is kind of the reason why my wife wanted this particular car was because of these rims. Can tell it's all blacked out tinted windows i'm kind of wondering about the rims i mean would they have looked better just kind of like a high gloss black to match the paint i don't know they look kind of good like they are so as we move around to the back it does have dual exhaust you know um, has one muffler though when you get up underneath it back here it's just one muffler it has two outlets it's got two inlets, but uh, just one big, huge muffler. It does sound really good for what it is. We did drive another Sport, and it didn't sound like this. When you get on this one, it kind of livens up. You can hear it. Now, my wife's not big on the whole loud exhaust thing, but I think it would sound good with a little bit better exhaust. But it's her vehicle, so she can keep the exhaust on it that's on it. All right. Moving back around to the front. Pretty clean car. Like I said, when we bought it, it had a little over 31,000 miles. So let's get out of here and go wash the inside or clean the inside of the car. All right, so we're back from cleaning the exterior of the vehicle. Now what we're gonna do now is start on the interior of the vehicle, but before I get into actually doing this, I need to kind of go over some stuff with you about the products I'm gonna be using. First product, it's just Armor All glass wipes. I normally don't use these. My wife bought them, but that's all I have at this time. I do have some Amazon glass cleaner at home that I meant to bring to Kentucky, but I didn't. So I like it because it's in a can. Spray it on something, wipe it off. Just to me, the can glass cleaner works exceptionally well. And I did want to try out this Amazon product that Eagle Lubricant sent us, but in my rush to leave home, I didn't bring it. So in a later video, we'll be using that Amazon glass cleaner, testing that out. But today, we're using this Armor All Glass Wipes. Now, one thing about this is that you wanna make sure even with any kind of glass cleaner you're using on your vehicle, is if your windows are tinted, you don't wanna use anything with ammonia because that right there will mess up your tint and make it go purple and all kinds of colors. Here on this box or this container ammonia free so we're good to use these um i had some windex and it didn't say ammonia free so i was like well we're not going to do that because that could mess up my, my window tint so we'll be using this 
The next thing we're going to be using that I normally don't use that my wife bought is this Meguiar's Rich Leather. I'm basically going to wipe down all the plastics in the car, the seats, the dash. Always something, man. Always something. Same guys that were cutting the trees earlier out here, that's them leaving. So, but they're working. So we'll just sit here and patiently wait for that hideous beeping noise to quit. Let's quit. And now he'll leave. So like I said, this is some uh, leather cleaner. We're gonna be using it on the door uh, panels, seats, the rear deck, all of that stuff. But what I normally use, and I like the best out of anything that I've ever used, is Orange Pledge. It's the same stuff you would clean off your table with at home or your go dusting around your house is what I use on my car. It works great on plastics. It doesn't leave a slick residue and it actually leaves a really nice coat on it and then when it's all done, it deflects dust. Now another thing we're gonna be using that I really like is uh, Meguiar's Plastics. Now this is actually gonna be on the outside of the vehicle, but there are some things on the inside of the vehicle I'm gonna test out and see if it'll work on that. Uh, it's basically a plastic polish uh, like now on this vehicle, it's pretty new, just three years old. So if I go ahead and put it on my headlights and my taillights, what it'll do is help shine those up and it'll help protect them in the future. So uh, let's put this Plastex on first. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it on a rag, wipe the headlight down, take a dry rag and wipe it off. Other than that, pretty simple. All right, I wanna show you how to use this Plastex real quick. And these guys are over here fixing to cut another tree down. So I'm gonna try to be hurt hurry up and get done with this. Basically, I have a, an old rag. Shake it up. We're gonna be basically doing this all the way across the vehicle, but what I'm gonna do is just show you how to do the back. Usually the back is in better condition than the front. It's because it's on the rear of the vehicle and it's not taking all your blasting from the road. So, you just put a little bit on here like that, a little bit, kind of smush it. And you're just gonna Rub it in. Try not to get it on the paint. But if you do, you can just wipe it off. Right. Now is when you're just gonna just wipe the heck out of it. Now this you're not gonna tell very much of a difference because it's a pretty new vehicle. But if you do this at least a couple of times a year on all of your lights on your vehicle, front and back, what it'll do, it'll keep that good uh, coating on it and it won't allow them to fade, uh, get dirty or anything like that. So I'm gonna finish the rest of this out, do the front ones, then I'm gonna jump on the inside. Alrighty, now that we got the inside cleaned up, let's take a tour of the inside of the car and what all the features has that's in it. Now, I'm probably gonna miss a lot of the features that's in it because there's just so many. So uh, we'll start with the driver door and we'll work our way around uh, all the vehicle, then we'll go into it. Alrighty, looking at the features on the driver door, it has your unlock for your doors, your lock, it also has three programmable uh, settings for drivers. So if you have uh, the husband, the wife, or whatever, and a, and a kid, each one of them can have their own setting. So that way when you get in the car, you can hit that button. It'll adjust your seat, your mirror, and your steering wheel. Now this vehicle also, when you open up the door and you sit down and you go to start the car, the steering wheel will automatically go down and up. So that way it allows you to get in and out of the vehicle. Um, Back here with the door, has your basic power windows for all four doors. 
has a lockout feature. These are for your mirrors, and that right there, you adjust your mirrors up and down and side to side or whatever. Um, has a speaker in this door. I believe it has a speaker in every door in the vehicle. So let's go to the back door. Basically a basic door, speaker, power window. It uh, does not uh, handle, these, you know, these new cars, they just have all electric locks. So there's actually no physical lock. It's like they used to be in old cars. And every door has ambient lighting in it. I think like underneath the handles, it lights up at night to here. So that way I think in the floorboard it back here, it has ambient lighting. Now this car's supposed to have the thing where if you kick underneath it or something, it'll automatically raise the back door. So in case you have groceries all in your hands. And if you want to push the door down, you can hit that button and it will lower the door. As well, if you want to open the door, there's a button right underneath here. Somewhere. No, it's down here. Sorry. Yeah, in that little compartment. All right, so entering in the back of the vehicle, this is a, a rubber mat that I bought. Uh, some new edges come with them. Uh, I bought this on eBay, I believe it was, for about $100. Uh, we have a golden retriever that's why we kind of bought this car so she would have a place to ride when we go on vacation and trips and such so this is kind of to protect the carpet from her as you can see the carpet's there it does have these metal latches that you can uh strap something down with if you need to i keep a uh, air pump there's the net that goes in the back here's the spare it's supposed to have a factory funnel but it did not so that's why i have that bottle right there uh, because I made my own with it. I'm going to put this back down. Alrighty. So coming here in the back. It's, some of these models have like a cover that will lay flat up here. This one did not. Did not come with it. These little things. Holding grocery bags and whatever you want to hold. There's one on each side. Right there. And then here we have a 12 volt power outlet. We also have. Uh, this button which will flip your seat down if you hit the bottom button on the bottom flips that seat down so basically your passenger doors are going to be the same as the drivers now we got people over here coming to play frisbee ball or wow, look at him go oh boy in the street so sad basically the back door is the same as the other side the passenger door got another speaker in it lock unlock lock and your button here also has ambient lighting one thing also that the back of the car has is a subwoofer right here As you can see on the passenger side, you do have a dinosaur that my grandson left in here. Power seats. Seat is also heated and cooled. You have another 12 volt port right there for uh, accessories. We'll jump in the vehicle here. Not, it's gonna get loud. Also in the back seat, you have a nice little rest for drinks. If you come around here to the back, you have two vents, heated seats in the rear. You have like a little cubby hole to hold something here. Have another 12 volt power port there and then a 110. So if you wanted to plug in your hairdryer, I guess you probably could, but it would probably blow that fuse maybe. But good for laptops, iPads and things like that. All right, coming in on the driver's side. Another thing I like is at night, this edge here, it lights up. So uh, 
have another rubber floor mat coming into the i guess we'll call it the headlight switch you have your uh dim bright and basically your functions for your headlights and that pops the rear door this car does not have the uh, pedals where they adjust i don't believe i don't think so but moving over here to the steering wheel this right here adjusts your steering wheel also has uh, paddle shifters here and then this right here is for your uh, lane assist and where you cancel it turn signals and your bright lights all right we'll get in the vehicle Now that it's all firing up here, basically your steering wheel, like I said here, you have paddle shifters on each side of the steering wheel in the back. Uh, when it comes to the steering wheel, you have your cruise on, cancel, uh, resume, uh, your speed up and down for your cruise. I think this right here is for the adaptive cruise because this car does have adaptive cruise on it. And you can, uh, I guess maybe you can adjust the distance that you're following behind someone. Now, if you go to this side, basically what it does is it controls this side of their screen. This controls this side of the screen. So there's a lot of different menu options and things that you can maybe do. You can go in here and kind of adjust a lot of this stuff if you want to. I'm not going to. And this is the same way you can go in here and it'll has a lot of different settings on it. Uh, We'll go back to the Sirius radio. Um, so then here you have basically your phone, um, Bluetooth, turn, I guess that's where you hang up, a volume, volume for the phone, you can skip the, what's on the radio, volume for the radio. Uh, it is push button start. Here's your windshield wipers for the front and the back because it has a wiper on the back of the car. Um, when you go to the screen, you can kind of see it does have your fuel mileage on the left. And right beside that, it does have a little tachometer. And then here in the middle, it does have a speedometer. When you look to the screen on the right, it'll tell you the time, the temperature, the direction that you're going, and so on and so on. And moving to the center, uh, it does have a little cubby hole up there for chewing gum. It's a gum cave. And then here's the radio. This little thing my wife wanted so she could stick her phone up on the screen. But it's basically your audio, climate, uh, your phone, navigation, apps, and then settings. And there's a whole bunch of stuff with inside of those screens that I'm not going to get into. And then another thing is as you move down the center console... You know, it basically has all your same thing for your radio and knobs all here. It has all your air conditioning set it, settings and heat, rear air, I mean a rear defrost. Uh, all of the same stuff that's controlled up here can be controlled here. Uh, it does have a front mounted camera. So that way if you're, you know, trying to pull up to a curb, you don't rip off the front uh, lower valence of your vehicle. Um, moving down, it does have cooled seats, heated seats for both driver and passenger. It does have the dual climate control, and here's the temperatures for those, and the fan speed, and all that can also be done from up here as well. And I guess this screen has uh, multiple settings, and then it kind of give you a little bit wider angle there. So as you move down the console a little bit more, got a little button here, flick it open. You got a little storage area here, USB, and these are just standard USB ports. Also down here, right there, is another little cubby hole that goes all the way across the back of this console. So you can, my wife likes to stick her wallet down there and things of that nature. Uh, here's the shifter, and I'm so glad that it has this shifter in it and not that little knobby thing, because didn't really care for those. Um, same kind of shifter that's in our fusion that's in here so a lot of this vehicle is the same as our fusion so moving into it we already know where everything is at now if you come down here to the console you have your 
parking assist. These are the little parking aid alarms that I guess you can turn them off if you want to. And then right here is your parking brake. Two cup holders. And there are kind of some cup holders in the door there and on the driver's side as well. Uh, glove box. Got a bunch of napkins in it. Nothing major. Here's the center console. You also have another 12 volt port right here. There isn't a USB port in this center console, but it is pretty deep down there. Way on down there. Got a whole bunch of junk. Then it also has an upper part of the console where you can keep more junk and pens and smell good stuff for your car to make it smell good. Now, moving over here to the, we'll start working our way up towards the front of the roof. Uh, we have our home link system here. You have a mirror, of course, I believe there's a mirror on both sides. We don't want to look at myself. Got a mirror over here. And then looking at this upper console, got a little place for your sunglasses. Uh, you have lights for each side. And then this is, I guess, lights up the whole car. Uh, I don't know what that does. Some sort of light. I have no clue. Uh, this here is for the sunroof. And this right here is for the... I guess the uh, shade, sunshade on the sunroof. So, I actually have it closed right, open right now, the shade. And I'm trying to shut it. Alright, so I'm going to flip this around now that we know this is for our sunroof. And these are for our shade. I'm going to flip this camera around so that way you can see the, the sunroof on this car. Alright, so now that we got this... Uh camera flipped around let's open up this sunroof we're just pressing one button that has got to be the favorite my most favorite part of this car is that sunroof or moonroof I just love that at night you can be in the passenger seat open that up and just kind of look out up at the stars and you know look out at the moon i guess and maybe that's why they call it a moon roof so uh that's basically going to be a wrap on this video with this car now i will cover real quick what this car originally sold for was forty seven thousand seven hundred dollars being that this car was an 18 it's 21 that's three years old we paid $30,000 or $33,000 for this car. Now, we'd had 30, let's say 32,000 miles on it. That's roughly a depreciation of about, uh, what, $12,000 in three years. And that's why I normally don't buy brand new cars uh, because of the depreciation that they lose in such a fast period of time. Uh, also, today's market you might get a little bit more for a car because the car market is crazy and that's just the way it is so i believe we got a good deal on it uh, there are some a few videos that i'll be making about this car that you might want to stay tuned for because even though this car is three years old we have encountered some issues so i'll be covering those in a future video so stay tuned for that also like the video if you like the video like it if you didn't like the video like it anyway give it a big thumbs up help a man out give it a thumbs up uh subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already i'm gonna have more things coming on this vehicle our 2014 ford fusion the 78 f350 uh the 98 ford expedition uh i think i got a 94 f150 uh and a bunch of other stuff in the near future so stick around for all those videos uh comment down below if you have an edge like this if you want an edge like this if you hate an edge like this just comment down below because when you comment that helps youtube promote these videos and their algorithms and all that good stuff so it helps us grow the channel the more we grow the channel the bigger better things it will be able to do but it's going to take you subscribe comment and like the video now right now 
Other than that, share it. Share it on Facebook, Instagram, wherever you can share it. Write it on, write the the link on a piece of paper and give it to your friend. Don't care, just share. Sharing is caring. That's what they say. So I'm gonna share on out of here because these people are looking at me funny and uh, get back to the house. So y'all have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next video.